<laughs> he's been great. You know, he's embraced Idaho Youth Ranch um, from the beginning of his time. He's reached out to us, getting us tickets to the games for the kids in our programs, um, doing this coat drive, speaking to his players and allowing us to talk to his players about the meaning of being involved in the community. For some of these young people, well, first of all, they never had a coat. They've certainly never had a new coat. And to know that there were adults that reached out and collected these things, knowing that they would come to them, for them sends a really powerful message, which is more than a coat. <laughs> There's caring adults in this community. Um, and that can help me get through the challenges I'm facing because I know there are people out there on my team. The number one factor for kids overcoming adversity in childhood is the presence of caring adults in their life. Non-parental caring adults. And so that's the strongest message here. Welcome back live inside Toyota Stadium here in Frisco. We are getting set for kickoff between Boise State and North Texas in the Frisco Bowl about an hour until kickoff between these two teams. You know, uh, one of my favorite things, Brady, is to see these Boise State coaches come in here and make an impact on their community. This Sunday, Leon Rice of the Boise State men's basketball team is hosting a toy drive prior to their basketball game. And then obviously saw the good deeds that Andy Avalos is doing with his coat drive over the last you know, month or so. Absolutely, and it was great to see not only Andy Avalos is getting it done, but the players are having a blast giving back to the community that's been supporting them uh, for the seniors for the past four to five years. Yeah, and that's what they love doing too. Take a look at this because this was the second annual Avalos family Christmas drive. And uh, a week ago tonight, a dozen Broncos or so showed up to support their coach as he was trying to do some good deeds within the community. And, you know, this return when Avalos did in 2001 to his alma mater, the hope is to gather and give winter wear to Treasure Valley youth. Over the last three weeks, a number of fans in Bronco Nation and beyond have donated coats, hats, scarves, and gloves. Avalos and the players told us that it is fun to be in the giving spirit. Christmas time is a great time of the year. You know, coming off Thanksgiving, being thankful for all the things we have and being able to help out, you know, for, for others that may, may not have a lot. And it's a great way for us to give back and take care of the youth in our community, for our players to get involved. And I'm just so grateful, you know, that our players are able to get involved. I mean, I know I'm cold out here, so uh, people in need for jackets, I know that's super important around this time of year. And uh, to be able to come out and do community service and events like this to collect those for those people, it, it means a lot. We always talk about a lot throughout our whole team just being grateful for the things we have because um, we know it's enough, you know. And uh, it's just being out here and being able to try to get back, you know, to the community is huge.